Hey everybody, well, so I'll see you today. Let me plug this phone in here real quick. I forgot to plug it in. Okay, we're charging. I got some new cords in, so now I got everything, I can plug everything in, and I ain't gotta be dragging cords back and forth from the house. I... Anyways, all right, so I got a piece of, uh, Flint Ridge here. Let's measure it before I get started. This piece is two and seven eighths by two and three eighths. You guys remember that because I probably won't. Um, let's see here. It's already got some platform set up, a ridge running in here, a ridge running in here. Um, I can take one in right here. So we're just going to take some opportunist, opportunistic uh, strikes, and we're just going to use this hollow copper bopper for now. Okay. So I fixed more boppers today. I gotta tell you, it's awfully nice to be able to fix my own boppers. And uh, I uh, do have stuff ordered as I am gonna offer some boppers. Just some simple. Okay. So I am going to be offering some also, but, uh, they won't have the rubber handle. Um, I don't really care for the rubber handle. It, uh, it just, it comes off anyways. It, it don't stay on there very long at all. So just no sense in doing it. But I'll show those to you guys when I'm, I get ready. Also, um, I'm also selling some absolutely beautiful deer hides, best you can get on the website now. If anyone's interested in some deer hide, I have it in two different colors right now. The third color is on its way. That ain't gonna work. Doggone it. Trying to hit too far below. The only reason I'm not using indirect right now is, as those of you know that follow along with me, is I'm trying to up my uh, direct percussion game. So. So try and do a bunch of this initial reduction with direct percussion. This was a really fat piece. <coughs> yes, if you got a special project coming up and you want some absolutely premium deer leather for it. I'm uh, also working on a deal about some uh, possibly some uh, tannery run or some some lower grade 
deer hides also. But, uh, well, I'll tell you what, if you was making you some buckskins or something like that, this would be the leather for, for that. Because it's nice stuff. It's thinning, but it don't seem like it's thinning as fast as I'd like it to. <laughs> Doggone it. Pretty layery piece. Apparently something Flint Ridge and Coral have in common with each other. If I can't clean it up with indirect, then I'll do a little uh, pressure. So I had a pretty good time making that uh, blowgun point. Surprisingly enough. I think it's because there uh, wasn't any pressure. <laughs> no pressure to not break it or whatever. It just, you know, whatever. <laughs>
been a while since I did much indirect. Might take me a point or two to get back in the groove. Probably zoomed out too far, huh? Let's uh I still put it all on rough. I still haven't got me a uh, twist lock. Deal. You know what I did do is my caveman book. Y'all seen that was falling apart. Just went in there and glued that dude back together. So actually, I kind of got it laying the wrong way right now. The glue is still drying. Is this uh, my nail might be too short? Yep, that would be the problem. Yeah, I need to get a twist lock one. Oh man, that hurt man up bending over there. Sorry about that. Yep, so I'm I'm excited about uh, being able to fix my own boppers and be able to offer a few of them. Just to try to... my I've been messing with this thing for... I can't tell you how long the things keep falling out because the, I lost a nut on the other end. I don't know why I just don't get another one. I don't have a nut for it. I guess I could probably find a nut. I don't know. Had some other things I thought I was gonna tell y'all and uh let's see what did we talk about? We talked about Raleigh fan high. Good grief, you guys are like this guy is definitely ain't got it the other day. And I don't. Apparently. I need to zoom in. Oh, well, heck, no wonder. I never did zing you guys in at all, I guess. No wonder you look so far out there. I 
had you guys zoomed out to the next county somewhere. I bet I was in frame though. <laughs> It's got a hinge on it. Oh, I thought I could run that up in there. Going that way and get it off, but I guess I couldn't. Seems like I ought to be able to get hold of that, though. Apparently not. grabbed hold of a piece of it. When you got a hinge like that, the more of it you can manually remove, the easier it is to get a flake to come across it. I don't like putting metal marks on my piece like that, but... I don't lose that tip because it's got a uh, seam coming in there. I noticed something from that point yesterday. Big no-no that I did, which is probably why it broke it and why we ended up with a uh, bird point. Is I was completely bridging the pad and going right way down here in the middle of it. If you're going to bridge your pad, try and keep your pressure right towards the edge of it where it's going to be strongest. when you get a piece thin and you got to start worrying about that I didn't do any kind of warm-up or anything. I just came out and started napping. My wife's at the 
roller rink with our daughter and uh, our daughter-in-law and all the grandbabies. So I think it's kids' night or it's kids' night or something like that, and she's down there playing goalie or referee or something, trying to keep the little ones from getting ran over, I guess. I still have this little spot right here that I would really, really would like to get out of there if possible. trying to walk that in there see if I can get under under it right there with some pressure yep we got under it metal marks are gone Guess I need some new grinders. I actually have some in that bucket. I'm just, I got so many of those pieces. I always seem to wear them in half. And I got so many of those pieces laying around. I'm trying to force myself to use them. Okay, well, the tip's got to come over, but other than that, we're starting to look pretty good.
I'm going to put some notches in this thing. Or at least that's going to be my plan. This I'm gonna try it like. How am I gonna try this? I've never done it like this. Yeah, I probably shouldn't either because I don't know what I'm doing. Fine then. Well, that's not as deep as I want these notches. That's for dog on sure. So. piece of leather here I have these pieces of leather like this here on the website as well the file I guess I 
guess I got this side stalled out too. I didn't think I did, but I guess I do. Well, that's a negative ghost rider. I can't seem to get a hold of it. So we're going to have to go to the file, I guess. We're gonna have to go to the files. I hate doing that. Oh, especially since I don't know where they're at. Yeah, I got no idea where my files. Hold on a minute, let me find my files. Alright, well apparently I'm gonna have to piece these two together because it just up and quit on me. <coughs> For some reason or another, it just turned off. I'm not sure why. I, uh... Let's see if we can get something to pop loose. Oh yeah, we got a flake right there. So we can keep that going. We'll be good to go. I want this to turn up in there. Yeah, I got a flake out of there, but it doesn't appear to be enough. Dag nabbit. All right, well, let's. Seem very grippy. But like Ted says, if it don't go the first couple times, it probably ain't gonna go. Because you probably got something wrong. In this case, we do have something wrong. Oh boy. All right. 
So this is going to become a uh, notching video, apparently. Oh, what not to do. What not to do when notching. How oh, good we got one to pop out of there. Which is what we wanted. I got one to pop out of there. It's got a flake stuck right in there. Okay, I can't find the flake that I'm looking for again. Still notice turned up in there as I want it to be. Might have to sand on this one for a week. I hope that's not the case. Notching, what not to do. Well, my phone's blowing up. My doctor's calling me. Uh, Mr. John's calling me right now. Can't answer it because I'm in the middle of a video, but... I just cannot get that thing to can't get it to give it up <sighs> may not be able to get this side may just have to leave it the way it is Should have got a little thinner. <sighs> yeah, it's still, uh, Let's 
try it again. Well, we did get a flake to come out, but it doesn't appear like it was enough to And I just took a chance with it right there. What am I going to do here? Well, I guess my choices here are to try a thinning flake right here from the base, right up that, using number one stick maybe. Might I'll just use number two, <laughs> or that might be too much. I'm not sure. All right, I did get a thinning flake up in there. There's one there. Try and bring one and take this thick spot off right here. Did pretty good actually. Did pretty good. Yeah. Nice. I'd like to take one more flake. The famous one more flake. That usually messes it all up. I'm gonna try and come in right here off this platform and take a little piece of this out. Ooh, it dove in right there. Doggone it. Now I probably won't be able to get that out. Well, yeah, that really, that came out just like a fluting flake. Turned right on out of there. Doggone it. I don't always thin them after I notch them, but <laughs> I don't know how that'll turn out. We'll see. It's definitely thinner now. I feel like if we can't get that notch to go down. Now that it's this thin, it'll probably be more prone to snapping also. So, just like that. Doggone it. Well, there's some more not what not to do, I guess. All right. That's two points in a row that uh, I've got to go to plan B on.
might be getting a little rusty. Not that I've never uh, not messed up two in a row, I have, but... We'll still see if we can make something. Just not going to have my little Thebes I wanted. Man, I got some new buffalo leg pad leather in, and it is almost too nice to use for leg pads. I mean, it is nice. If you have a certain size pad you want cut, um, just shoot me a message. Shoot me an email on here. If you got me on Facebook, shoot me a message. And uh, I can cut those any size you want. I carry the standard size all the time. And uh, I know some guys like to leave it laying down. So I'm, it hits on my chair right here. And it this, this is fine for me. But some guys like a little bit longer one. But this is the standard one I carry. Uh, I sell quite a few of these. I also sell quite a few of these right here. And these are super nice. I know they're a little bit spendy, but, uh, you know, they last forever, and, and uh, I'm going to sure make it nice on your leg. You're probably saying, well, just don't be such a sissy. have to consult the we got a fat spot right here I mean we gonna mess with this thing continue on with it we might as well get the fat spot out I guess <sighs> yep lesson here is I should have got it thinner to begin with and I wouldn't have been doing all that now um, it's pretty small I'm gonna take a break for just a second and then uh, I'll come back and and uh, actually kind of think I do know what I'm gonna gonna make probably or attempt to a small version of it I'll be right back okay Madison would be super easy. <laughs> it's already, I think that's the Madison. Is the Madison just like that? I believe so. Anyways. Let's see.
work on getting some flake scars on here. Clean the edge up a little bit. It's got some crystal pockets up here near the tip, of course, <laughs> in the worst place for them. Theoretically, we've got an arrowhead. Anytime I'm flint napping, if I break a point, sometimes I'll just put it down. But uh, most, I mean, I always come back to it 99.9% .9 of the time, unless it ends up in the flakes pile, which I. If I don't, if I, if I get putting together a box of flakes and stuff and, uh, I don't have enough, sometimes I'll put some broken bifaces in there, but for the most part, when I, uh, start on a piece, I nap it till it's, till there ain't nothing left of it. It's either a point or there's nothing left to it, one or the other. does have a little hinge right there. Kind of got over there to it, sort of. Let's put some notches in this one. Let's have a do-over. Yeah, so check out that deer leather. Even if you're not interested, you ought to look at it. It's pretty, pretty nice stuff.
Have you guessed what it is yet? It's a point you might find in Missouri or possibly even Kansas. I guess you can find it other places too, I'm not sure. Probably the same style, different name. Seems to be how a lot of those work. What I'm trying to make here is a uh, Pelican Lake. Seems plausible there could be there could be a flat ridge pelican lake. Their trade routes went far and wide. So I have no doubt they could have. Maybe there is some historical examples of that. I'm not sure. And the bases on these look different. Some of them are kind of dipped down like this. Some of them are curved in like this. I think we're going to curve ours in. Because I think that's a cool look. I see one there that's, that's that way. And I'm going to do it like the one. Actually, it could go, could go a little deeper than that even. I've never actually made one of these. So, that's cool. There's only one of the examples in here that's that's like this. I would like those notches to be just a hair deeper, which is famous last words, right? But you know what? They're even right now, so probably gonna leave them alone. And I'm gonna clean up this edge. Oh my back. Oh. So I know everyone's tired hearing about my back, but it looks like I'm probably they're probably gonna fly me back down to New Orleans and do an MRI or cats I don't know what all they're gonna do, but they're gonna do some they wanna do the test down there and then I'll have an appointment with the doctor the next day and uh find out why I'm not further along than I am. So 
because I still can't support my upper body weight for any period of time bent over um, and some mornings I'll put my boots on and just bending over for that few seconds even when I try to get my get my foot up in a chair and, and uh, not lean over quite as far and it still just is absolutely miserable and it it can actually some days if it's bad enough it just kind of puts me down for the day and I've been down all day today. I've been laying around, just sitting around the house in the recliner. That's about the only place I can get comfortable. And just kind of let things settle back down. And I thought, well, I'll come out here once I do nothing major and see how I feel. But uh, I'm not doing any lifting. So. And I got a cushion in this chair that makes it so I can sit in this thing. Of course, this, it's a, man, i actually really kind of digging that point. In fact, I'm halfway kind of happy if Thebes didn't work out. Because I'm digging that. My monitor is working so there's no excuse from being so far zoomed out earlier I just uh I was actually pretty proud of that last video because I stayed in frame the whole time and the distance seemed right the whole time um, I actually felt like uh, although it was just a blowgun point I felt like that was probably my best video as far as video quality went. Um, and I was very relaxed out here napping with my wife and and uh, I know a lot of couples can't say that especially it is a little bit tricky trying to teach her how to nap because uh, there's a risk of mansplaining there and she's not a fan of that so I'll tell you what, that's a pretty little point. Pretty little point. Yes, sir. I'm going to call that good. I will have to piece these two pieces together because uh whatever reason it cut out on me. So not sure how long the video is I don't think it's too terribly long but, uh, all right been a while since I pulled the book over as you can see my pages are not falling out no more so and I just got one of these I so I, I don't even know how I get it right or how it works but there's this thing shop cash and I guess it's when you buy something with shop pay which I don't even be sure what that even is but Anyways, apparently I have it, <laughs> and I buy stuff with it, and I know I've used Shop Pay before, and I think it just comes down with my PayPal, or I'm not sure how it works, but anyways, I use that, and I kept seeing this thing, you got a Shop Pay balance, and uh, like a credit, and I thought, well, what? I don't know what this is, it got to be some sort of scam thing, and then I kept seeing, this is going to expire if you don't use it, then it would expire, and then say, all of a sudden I'd have even more money in there. Well, it turns out... <laughs> that you can spend that <laughs> that's your money it's like money back when you buy something it's like cash back or whatever and it goes in that account and then you use that shop pay thing uh your balance to pay things off and i ordered uh i ordered uh what i order stuff i didn't really need i ordered another one of these books and uh <laughs> a steel striker for flint and steel and uh and i still got some cash left and uh i just I seen that and I had to buy something, so I thought, well, I need another one of these books. I have a new one of these books in the house. This one is my out here book since it fell apart, but as you can see, I I glued it back together, so it's fine. And this will probably be my traveling around one too. And then I 
then I want one in the in the shop too. So when I'm in there doing leather work and dreaming about arrowheads, and I can uh, pull that up. But there's our point. It's a uh, Pelican Lake, late archaic to woodland, 3,500 to 2,200 years before present. I was looking at this base right here when I was looking at this one, and we're pretty close to that. We're pretty close in size too. So. Pretty neat. I like that. I mean, it's not our thieves we were going for, but it's a little flint ridge, and, and I don't know if you can see the flaking pattern. Let's see. I'm trying to get it so you can see the flaking pattern across that side right there. It's a uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice flaking pattern. This side's not as nice a flaking pattern. Definitely probably the bees. It's got this dip right here, but other than that, it's pretty nice. But anyways, that's it. Pelican Lake. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, you guys make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway when we hit a thousand, like you all know. Um, we are inching our way there, slowly but surely. A few a few here and a few there. But um, I'm going to try and increase the videos. We're going to be doing some leather work videos also. If you flint, some of you flint nappers are interested in some of the leather work stuff. Man, that stuff, you, you could half that up and shoot that out of a... That may end up on one of my one of my arrows hunting I, I would adjust the tip just a little bit but yeah that might be one of my hunting points i like that i like that style too pretty nice i think it'd be even better if you narrowed it up just a little bit like this here and then put this same base on it that would be sweet that might be one of my one of my new cool points i like i really like that pelican lake anyways um yeah i don't even know what i was talking about i appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one. I might shoot a, I may shoot a uh, by facing video here. We'll see. But thanks, y'all.